Uh, we're going to be chatting a little bit later on, but we have another Cole in our audience mm. this evening. And with him, we have Brian, we have Sherilyn, we have Kelly, and a few others. There they are, looking completely stunned to be on live television. <laughs> there they are. No, they're all here because of their involvement in a life-changing project. And here's Ashley with more. My name's Cole, and I'm 21 years old. I've been a care leader since I was 16. You don't necessarily have the family support. If you need help, you're going to end up relying on yourself. When I first left care, there were so many struggles I came up against. I remember feeling really daunted when I had to move into my own flat at 18 years old. Without a family support network, it can be really difficult to know where to turn. But a project pairing over 50s with care leavers is hoping to give the young people a better start to adult life. Darren began working with Cole two years ago. But we've got to make sure that we've got that budgeting right. Tell me how this project works. They try and recruit people aged 50 and above, like myself, and they try and match us up at different events. It's really then up to ourselves to try and work together to, uh, to change Cole's life. Dar Darren's help helped me learn the things that you don't learn in school or through your care workers or social workers. Cole, as a care leaver, I know that it can be very easy to have a distrust of new people. Yeah. The general thought of being around people was very daunting. You know, it's, it, it really did scare me. I had no self-esteem, no confidence. Like I've just done things logically, what, what seemed logically to me, uh, making sure we got his sleep patterns right, making sure that he was mixing with the right top, sort of people, giving him the opportunity, really. How has Darren as a mentor changed your life? <laughs> uh, it's, it's unexplainable. There's nothing that I feel that I can't do at the moment. Do you know what I mean? I, I genuinely feel like I'm on top of the world. Every year, around 10,000 teenagers leave care in England, and roughly half of those start adult life jobless. But the charity Volunteering Matters hopes this project will help buck that trend. Sherilyn began working with 21-year-old Brian, who's partially sighted a few months ago. What made you want to do this? It's just about helping, I think. I yeah. can't change people's lives, but it's just maybe just supporting in some way and showing that they've got a friend. Having help with my independence with Sherilyn, with going out to shops, having help with my maths and English in college. If there was a word to describe Sherilyn, what would it be? Out of a star. A star? I don't think I've ever been called a star, so that is really, really nice. The project has been running for 10 years and it's already proven to be a huge success. It's helped over 450 young people across England. They're first introduced to potential mentors over an activity. Today, it's Ipswich and they're baking. We've been asked not to reveal the identity of the care leavers. It's always fun to do something. It just gives you something else to focus on and it breaks the ice a little bit. Hopefully I can help them with some kind of life skills, things that they may be uncertain about. Care leavers have told me what they're desperate for is stability, guidance and someone they can trust. And here it seems they found some common ground already. One of the girls who I might be working with is currently at one of the London universities. I worked for 11 years in London commuting every day. It's understanding what it's like to be an individual as a, as a, a young person in London for the first time. More than 80% of the care leavers who have been through the process are going on to work, training and further education. That's compared to only 50% of care leavers nationwide. What have you guys learned from mentoring? I've learned to actually um, be there for other people. I think it's made me more open-minded and it's understanding um, people's difficulties, why they are in the situation they're in. Moving forward, what hopes do you have with your mentoring? I've just got my apprenticeship, so that, that alone is a massive step forward. It's now a case of finding new accommodation where I can live independently. I hope that I can move on to live on my own and mostly get a job so to get more in my own skills from Sherilyn's help. Leaving care was a really tough and isolating period for me. Meeting these two care leavers today, it's clear to see that having a mentor who can support and guide you makes the world of difference. Cheers to Ashley, that was a, a lovely film. And to the people from the film who are with us tonight, let's hear it for them one more time. There we are. And uh, if you're at home,
really nice, wasn't it? If you'd like to find out more information about how you can become a mentor to a young care leaver, we've put some links on the website. And we would like to know if someone you know has gone above and beyond to make your life easier or help you through a tough time. If you want to say thanks, just let us know. The One Show at bbc.co.uk. I mean, mentors are so important. It's interesting learning a bit more about them in the film there. Was there anyone for you, Harry, growing up that you saw as your kind of main mentor that really helped you through things? There were lots. And, and before I tell you about them, I want to applaud these incredible people too, watching that piece. It's just... Makes my heart so happy to know yeah. that there's such great people in the world. Um, yeah, I had lots of great mentors. You know, most of them were sort of musical because that's what I did all the time. But I think of people like Ellis Marsalis and James Booker. And these are people that, you know, t at, at the time uh, would just take so much of their time. Oh, there's me and James. There's yeah. James. And uh, he was... He, he looks was, like a cool dude, doesn't he? He was very, yeah. very cool. It really it's kind of a troubled life, but always kind of made me feel special and made me feel yeah. that... You know, I, I was important, and I think as as your piece just showed, that's so much of what mentors do is to empower you and make mm. you feel like you have something to to offer. It's so so important. Yeah, absolutely.